Hi everyone, I'm Kato. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I paint some flowers. I'm going to use two brushes that I always use and then yellow, orange and blue. Of course, ink. I'm going to start with the center of the sunflowers. It's a brown color which I mixed some orange color with ink. And then for the yellow petals, I'll start with some yellowed and then add some orange. Sunflower is a composite flower comprising of many tiny flowers. The inner flowers are the tiny brown ones that produce seeds and the other flowers are the yellow petals. In traditional freestyle Chinese painting, we value the gradient and variation of each of the brushstroke. We want each one of those stroke slightly different and unique in its own way. There are more than 70 species of sunflowers and the color spectrum range from creamy light yellow to deep red. So you may paint some other color gradients as well. But of course, yellow is probably the most iconic if you want to paint something that people recognize. I like sunflowers. This bright yellow large flowers always face the sun. That's why they are called sunflowers. Literally, I've seen them facing east in the morning and west as the sun goes down. Now I'm adding a few dots of ink on the this forest. Even though there may be hundreds of them in one flower, I'm not going to paint such details. For the leaves, I am switching to use a large brush, mixing some green and add a bit of orange color at the tip to paint. While the leaves are still wet, I'm going to add some brown fringes to make them more dynamic. The brown shades will merge with the green leaves. I'm going to start fast forwarding this and show you the close up at the end of the video. Now I'm adding the main stem, the offshoots, and the stem goes all the way to the top of the paper. And um, I'm adding a couple of more leaves. I'm adding a couple of bees. For insects, many artists use smaller brushes, but I'm using my small brush for this as well. The key is to make sure that there isn't too much water contained in the brush and your brush remains in good conditions with a pointed tip. This is the first time I paint bees and I'm improvising it. I'm using ink first and then put on the yellow later. 
I know that this is a little small for you to see, so I'm gonna paint another one later and show you a closer up. Now I'm painting the second one, and this is already a fast forward because I was taking my time to paint it because I want to make sure that every stroke is right. Otherwise, I will have to paint the painting all over again. And make sure that the ink is almost dry before you add the yellow color on. This is a close-up of the painting. See how nicely the brown color is blending with the green on the leaves? Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.